that 53 percent of voters in America, Republicans, Independents, and Democrats, support the impeachment of Joe Biden. I rise today to provide a report to the United States House of Representatives that Americans support impeachment. Last week, I introduced articles of impeachment against five people who have abused the power of their positions and provided corruption. I'm sorry, I called her Mayorkas. That's Marjorie Taylor Greene. See, I told y'all, man. And disservice to the American people. I introduced articles of impeachment against U.S. Attorney Matthew Graves at the Department of Justice. Mm. Matthew Graves refuses to prosecute 67 percent of the crimes in Washington, D.C., and abuses his office in a political pursuit who he deems political enemies while persecuting people for January 6th, people who just walked through the Capitol. Yeah, that's BS. Matthew Graves must be impeached. He should prosecute criminals in Washington, D.C. That, that commit all kinds of crimes every single day, not care about one day where people have already been arrested and are rotting in jail. Yeah, if, you're, if you have that power and you, um, and you can like, actually do some good for the world based off of your team and your, your, your name, anything, but you decide to only do it one way to support your political friends, dude, yeah, that's an impeachable, that's an impeachable um, offense. So Marjorie Taylor Greene, absolutely right. I don't have any, uh, do y'all? She's about to name five people. But do, if, you, if any of you believe that what she said is BS, please let me know in the comments, and I would love to see why. Last week, I introduced articles of impeachment against FBI Director Christopher Wray by turning the FBI into Joe Biden and Merrick Garland's personal police force. Chris Wray has made himself a lackey of the regime. Under Wray's watch, the FBI has intimidated, harassed, and trapped American citizens that have been deemed enemies of the Biden regime. FBI even raided Mar-a-Lago on August 8th of 2022 in an unconstitutional raid of former president's home. FBI whistleblower Garrett O'Boyle told congressional investigators that the FBI created a terrorist threat tag following the Dobbs Supreme Court decision in 2022. O'Boyle confirmed that the purpose of the tag was to target pro-life individuals. And now Ray has weaponized the FBI against his own agents. These brave FBI whistleblowers have been stripped of their salaries and their security clearances simply for coming forward and bravely telling the truth. I thought whistleblowers were protected. That's, that's what I, I, I thought that that was actually, you know, a law that whistleblowers are protected. It's like, yeah, we, we're not going to arrest you, but we're going to fire you and we're going to take away your benefits and we're going to just strip you of your livelihood so you're not able to take away and take care of you nor your family ever. Since this is all you know, go ahead public now. You can, since you want to go public, go work for the public industry. Now, that sucks, man. That sucks. FBI Director Christopher Wray must be impeached. I agree. I agree. She's not saying anything so far. It seemed like some movie stuff. Like, ooh, I know a man. I know, I know the, the person who runs the FBI. Let me, um, let me give him a call. He'll protect us. And they actually do it. There's absolutely, uh, absolutely no movie where this happens that is a good thing. None! None! If you can name one, then I'm with you. Let's go. Please let me know. School me in the comments. I would love to know. I introduced articles of impeachment against Attorney General Merrick Garland. Since Merrick Garland took over as Attorney General in March of 2021, he has completely weaponized the Department of Justice. The politicization of the Department of Justice has resulted in the persecution of the left's political enemies and a real two-tier justice system in America. Just so y'all know, and I'm not going to do a whole bunch of um, more talking. I love this type of video that I'm reviewing right now. The reason why is because people are just laying out all of the facts, truths about individuals. That's it. And saying, this is why we don't feel like you're doing your job. If any supervisor brought you in their office and told you, this is why I don't feel like you're doing your job. And they just laid out a litany of things that you're doing that support their reasons for you not doing your job. You're getting fired. How come these other people can't be fired? I'm, I'm just saying, 
What's, are they better than us? I'll answer that. Hell no, they ain't better than us. Garland has used the FBI as a personal police force for his boss, Joe Biden. The Department of Justice's persecution of Joe Biden's primary political adversary, Donald J. Trump, is anti-democratic. Raiding the former president's home for legally declassifying documents is a transparent violation of justice. Persecuting a declared candidate for president of the United States is nothing short of election interference. But not only that, from investigating parents who protest their local school, school boards to going after pro-life activists and Catholics, Merrick Garland must be impeached. What I want to tell the House of Representatives today is a Rasmussen poll was released just last week that 53% of voters in America, Republicans, Independents, and Democrats, support the impeachment of Joe Biden for high crimes and misdemeanors. I introduced articles of impeachment on Joe Biden last week. Wow, Marjorie. Okay, let's hear it. Let's hear the reasons why she believes that Joe Biden should be impeached. Let's go. Because of the national security crisis as our, in our, at our border. I also introduced articles of impeachment against Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas for failing to do his duties to secure America's border. But he's only doing the bidding of his boss, Joe Biden. At 5 p.m. yesterday, I released a survey simply on my social media asking, do you support impeachment? 8,600 people responded, and that was just from 5 p.m. last night. 77% said yes, they support impeachment. Wow. Only 23% oppose. And if anyone's read the comments on my Twitter account, you know for sure it's not just Republicans that follow me. Let me tell y'all something, and I just now saw someone say this, Elisa Marie, I, I'm with you 100%. She said, too bad it will go nowhere in the Senate. It won't. And it won't go anywhere beyond conservative videos. That's it. Conservative algorithms, it will stay there. It will go into an echo chamber of people, like-minded people, who believe the same exact thing, unless we are throwing it out throwing the like throwing that net out there you got to throw that net out there so people can understand what she's saying please give her a chance right because to them it might seem like she's being salty that she's doing whatever she possibly can in order to get trump reelected. like she's she's being um disingenuous any of that right but the, the more you look into it, you realize, yo, they are operating like a crime cartel. They really are. They're operating just like a crime cartel. She's just laying it out, and it's, it's for us to pick it up. Joe Biden has deliberately compromised our national security by refusing to enforce immigration laws and secure our border. He has allowed nearly 6 million illegals from over 170 countries to invade our country. He has caused approximately 1,700% increase in border encounters in just one sector of our northern border. Under his reign, there have been approximately 1.4 million known gotaways who have evaded U.S. authorities. He has allowed fentanyl, the number one killer of Americans between ages of 18 and 45, to overwhelmingly flood into our country and kill over 300 Americans every single day. Joe Biden should be impeached. I agree with every single thing she just now said. I don't know the I don't know the point of impeaching him. To be honest with you, I don't even know what impeaching him would do. What would it do? It would just say that we got to get you out of office right away. You and your whole team. If it means that, I'm with it. I'm with it as long as we have a plan to replace him with someone else who can actually do the job. You know what I mean? Well, at this point Anybody can replace him and do the damn job. But based off of everything she just now said, allowing 1.4 million people to evade U.S. police force and then bring fentanyl over here where it kills 300,000 people, 300,000 plus people. Come on, bro. Who else is liable for this? If not him, then who? That's all I want to know. If he is not liable for it, then who gets all the blame for that? Because last I remember, the president that they tried to impeach are trying to 
arrest was the person that was trying to put up a wall and prevent any of this from happening. And when I was on that side supporting Joe Biden 100%, I was like, man, F a wall. What do you want to put up a wall for? That was me. That was me. Like, because MSNBC, I mean, yeah, and they made fun of it so much and CNN made fun of it so much and made it seem like such a bad thing and such a racist thing. Like, what's the point of a wall? <laughs> now I see the point of the wall. Holy crap, do I see the point of the wall. But... There was no wall. They stopped building it. They stopped funding it. They said, let everyone come over. Let's turn them into Democratic voters. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. In my district alone, we have had an increase of 350% of fentanyl murders. Gentlewoman's uh, time has expired. Thank you. Joe Biden must be impeached. I yield. Congressman. <laughs> she made sure she said it on the way out the door. She said, thank you. Joe Biden, Joe Biden must be impeached. I yield. <laughs> I'm going to start telling people I yield when I'm done talking. Like if I'm in a debate with somebody, I'm just going to say whatever I got to say and say I yield. Just allow them to say whatever foolishness. <laughs> I honestly don't like to debate with people, to be honest with you. All right. So, again, I said well, all, I want, all I wanted to say. Now I want to see what y'all have to say in the comments. All right. I'll see you on the next video. And don't forget, if you can or if you want to, share this bad boy.